for most of you who have been following us on the channel, you might have noticed that Bevin's left eye is quite smaller than the right eye. Okay, so today I feel strong to talk about it, if I may say. I want to talk about it because cryptomia. Hi guys, special greeting from myself to you and welcome back again to our YouTube channel. If today is your first time of seeing me or coming across this channel, hi yeah, we are the DJ's family. On this channel, all we do is to try our best to promote happiness and laughter, okay? So guys, you are welcome. <laughs> you are welcome again. And in today's video, I will be talking about my son. I mean, my youngest son, the Igwe of their house, baby Devin, okay? For most of you who have been following us on the channel, you might have noticed that Devin's left eye is quite smaller than the right eye, okay? So today, I feel strong to talk about it, if I may say. I want to talk about it because um, questions have started coming out, like a lot of people have started asking me what happened to Devin's eye, why is his, one of his eyes small? Like, in my entire life, since I was born, <laughs> I have never seen anyone with such eye condition before. To be honest with you, I am being honest. I have never seen such eye condition before. And Devin was born like that. Uh, we noticed it as soon as he came out from me. Um, talking about Devin's pregnancy, his pregnancy was one of the swiftest pregnancy I have ever had because I have five children. Of course, before Devin's pregnancy, I have, ha I have had four other pregnancies, right? So, out of the four pregnancies I have had before him, his own was the smoothest. Like, I never had any complication. I can't, I can't even remember any day I sick, like, for me, nothing like that. Like, I never had any issue with his pregnancy. I don't smoke, I don't drink. So, how did this eye condition happen is what I don't know. So, Devin's pregnancy was 40 weeks on the doctor. I mean, the 40th week was the day I went into labor myself. So, I wasn't induced. It's not as if um, the labor, I was given any... Um, any help with to go into labor, nothing like that. I went into labor myself, and mm -hmm. the labor lasted for about six hours. Yes, about six hours. And then, as soon as Daddy came out for me, he cried. Normally, everything was perfect. But when the remember when the nurse we were, was cleaning Daddy's body, my husband quickly told me something. He was like, "This boy, one of these boy eye open, but the other one is not open." I was in pain that time. I'm like, "Come on, please don't tell me about this now." It will open later, don't worry. And then he went, okay. And then we stayed in the hospital till the next day because he was born in the night. We couldn't really go back home that very day. So we stayed till the next morning. The nurse is the midwife, could not detect anything. So as soon as we got home that day, that was uh, when it became more obvious to us. Like she, I called the hospital, we went back to the hospital. And then when we got there, um, I could see some of their body language, a few questions about family, genetics, and all of those stuff. I'm like, nothing like that. So, yeah, they make a phone call. We were referred that very day again to another bigger hospital. And I'm like, what is going on? You know, like, you just came back after having a baby. The time you need to spend time with your baby, all you could see is that you have to run from one hospital to another. And for other of my children, yeah, I have never, as soon as I had my baby, I will come back home and rest. Like, I have never taken my baby newborn to the hospital. So I don't know how it looks like. It was so stressful. And I was confused. I was, I was depressed. Anything you can think of happened. So when we went to the hospital there, they had a look. They were like, yeah, it's quite smaller than the other one. I think they said it was 70% smaller than the um right hand every day i could remember busting out tears like emotionally i was down i'm like what what am i going to do how like so many questions was going on my mind on my head every day and then after everything we came back home and then two days later we received a letter from gosh hospital in london so gosh hospital is a um, children eyesight hospital where they treat people with that kind of condition and then we went there and we met with a consultant who properly looked into the eye and he asked a series of questions. So Devin, um, that very day, the consultant diagnosed Devin with microptomia. Hmm. Another big name. I've never heard about it before. So for many of you who are like me that very day, who haven't heard about microptomia before, it is an eye abnormality that arises before birth, okay? And this condition, the eye that is affected, we look normally look smaller than the one that is not affected okay in some affected individuals the eyeball may even appear to be completely missing like the eyeball may not be there but for Dennis own the eyeball is there all right however even when they some of those uh, remaining eyes tissue may generally be present like other eye tissue other eye 
things might be present, but that eye bulb might be missing. In such cases, if the eye bulb is missing, they refer that as a severe microtonia. Okay, but for that is one, it's not a severe one, but there is a less vision on it. Okay, in some cases, a baby might even be born with that eye at all. In that kind of cases, they call that condition anotomia, anoptomia. <laughs> Guys, I'm not a medical person, so it's kind of hard, hard for me to say. So in that kind of cases of anatomia, the bulb, eye bulb is completely missing. Devin Owen is not missing at all. His right eye is perfect, clear, complete, 100% vision on that one. But for the left eye, it has a limited vision on that one, and the eye bulb is smaller. So after the first time, after the diagnosis, I was depressed again and like... I asked, I could remember asking so many questions that very day, like, what, what is the way forward? Any cure? Any medication? The consultant was like, I'm afraid there is a cure for microtonia, so the baby has to live with it. Ah! When I heard that, I'm like, hmm, is there any possibility of you taking off one of my eye and give to my baby? Let me just have his own. And again, he said, I'm afraid it's something that is not possible. Guys, that was when I burst out tears, like I couldn't hold myself. <sighs> It was a vision on that day. So, Devin today <laughs> is one year old, happy, beautiful, handsome, clever, like anything you can think of. Energistic. <laughs> this boy is full of life. Like, he is, like, the eye condition did not really change his personality. And now he turned a year and one week today. <laughs> And I feel this is the right time for me to talk about this. It's the right time for me to give answer to many questions. For most of you who have been seeing Devin's eye like that, and most of you have been, for most of you who has really summoned the courage to like chill out what happened to Devin's eye. Thank you so much. He was born like that. <laughs> that is the answer, okay? He was born like that, and it takes nothing away from him. him there is limited vision on it, but he is perfect. Yeah, that is it, really. I will be updating you guys because there have been series of appointments really now he turned one they want to really follow him up to see how they will help him does he need an artificial eye which i think personally he don't because i know that god will serve will do it completely so does he need any glasses of course i asked them that very day would they be needing any glasses i dropped the consultant was like no because his right hand eyes is perfectly okay so he won't be needing any glasses but I requested for any, if there would be any protective glasses, like to protect that perfect eye, because I wouldn't want anything that would happen to that eye. So they are kind of, yeah, it's what they will look into into in future, if that is what will be required. So guys, this is what I have to say about this eye. An appointment has been booked again for him to see the consultant in three months. So basically what we are, the place we are now is for him to be seen consultant every three months and they have to be following us up and also i have also requested for what we call genetic tests that is where they have to check if it's from me or from that or if it runs in any of our families which for me personally <laughs> i can't remember anybody having such eye in my family even in the community i came from self i can't remember anybody having such eye i've never seen it before so they will run the test and then they will tell us what next but according to one of the consultants again he was like, uh, he kind of have 30% if this would be from gen, like if it would be from both parents. So it could be that one of the genetic chromosomes really miss up of anything. So I will not be going into detail of those kind of grammars here. I will make a separate video of that, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the point of this video. I really appreciate your support. And please do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't become a part of this family. Because now that I have break the eyes about Devin's eye, Omo, you will need to see this boy. He is so clever, full of anything you, could, you can think of. He will make you laugh to you. <laughs> to you be in your closet if possible so i will be uploading most of his activities because personally i have promised myself that i will make him to have the full like, eh? <laughs> like anything he asks is what he will get <laughs> from me <laughs> so thank you do not forget to hit the subscribe button follow us and this channel and remember blessed see you in my next video <laughs> thank you so much and i love you Mwah.